Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to take a look at how we can go about using Nmap to perform a port scan. Regardless of which vendor for your cybersecurity track that you're going to follow, you're going to have to know Nmap. If it's the path for ethical hacker, you're going to have to know Nmap. If it's CompTIA cybersecurity path, you're going to have to know it, and if it's any other vendor, you're still going to have to know it, and you're going to have to know Nmap very well. On my Kali desktop, I have created a work folder for all my Nmap scans. So I'm just going to right-click on it, and from the context menu, I'm going to open Terminal here. To have Nmap scan a particular port, we can use the dash small letter P switch. So I've typed in Nmap, the IP address of the target, give it a space, a dash, small letter P. Now I have to tell it what port I want it to scan. Let's look for port 139. And I'm going to press enter. And it comes back and it tells me that that port on that target is actually open. So on the exam, you can expect to be asked which one of the following switches would you use to scan for a particular port or a range of ports using Nmap. The correct answer will probably be the dash, small letter P switch. So let's go ahead and see how we're going to scan now for a particular range of ports. So just as before, I've typed in Nmap, given it the IP address of the target, give it a space, a dash, small letter P. Now I got to type in that range of the ports that I want to scan for. So let's do port 21, give it a dash through 100. Go ahead and hit enter. And it comes back and says that none of those ports are open. In this next example, I'm going to use Nmap. I'm going to scan that same target IP. And I'm again going to use the dash small letter P to specify the ports. But this time, I'm going to specify a UDP port. And I'm telling it that I want you to scan a particular UDP port, port 53. Give it a comma. Now I want you to scan for a TCP port. And I want you to start at port 139, go to port 445 and then go to port 80. So we've got a number of combinations that we can use this dash P switch for to identify both UDP ports and TCP ports and we can do them as a block or we can do them individually. Let's go ahead and hit enter. In the output it tells us I should have used the dash small letter S capital U to do a UDP scan. That is something else that you might see on a certification exam for cybersecurity. Dash, small letter S, capital U, is used for performing a UDP scan. Now another question you might see on a certification exam is how do I scan the entire port range? Now for this, we can use the dash P and follow that up with another dash. Let's go ahead and try that. So I'm at the prompt. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. It takes a little while to go through all 65,535 ports, but it will return after a short while and give you the following results. And we can also use the dash P switch to look for a Pacific service running on the target. In this case, I'm going to use the dash small letter P, give it a space, and I want to look for HTTP and HTTPS service that is running on the target. To perform a fast scan of just the first 100 ports, I can use the dash capital letter F. After the fast scan of the first 100, it will continue on performing a normal port scan of the remaining ports. And it comes back very quickly letting me know which ports were closed and which ports were open. So when it comes to performing a port scan and the questions you might see on any certification exam, be aware of the dash small letter P switch and the dash small letter P dash switch. Those are the ones that might trick you up. I'm Professor K. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.